The Moravian motto is, in essentials, unity. In non-essentials, liberty. And in all things, love. The Moravian motto begins with a subtle phrase in Essentials Unity that is basically an invitation to a commitment to discern what is it that indeed we determine to be essential. The fundamental essential is that God loves us deeply. The essentials are God loves us, God redeems us, God empowers us in the non-essentials such as um, how you worship, sort of where you worship, what you do when you worship. And everything else, including interpretation of the Bible, including worship style, including how we baptize somebody, including how we serve communion, are, are non-essentials. That doesn't mean they're unimportant, but it means they are not at the foundation of who we are. In all things love, Anything we do, the bottom line for us as Moravians, the guiding principle is love. Love of God, the love of Christ in us, which flows out of us to those around us. And that for me is what it means to be Moravians following that motto. Even if we're not together on the essentials, if we love each other, we maybe be able to work together towards understanding what the ultimate essentials are. And yet when it comes right down to it, it's just loving one another. Because in that loving one another, we experience God. To me, being a Moravian means living in unity and harmony with each other and um, keeping tradition in mind while still moving forward. Love is a common thread that runs in all Moravian churches and that is maybe the one essential, love of God with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind and love of our neighbors as ourself. Early on, Luke of Prague articulated this a little differently. He identified the love of God, the grace and salvation of Christ, and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit as essentials. The things that lead us to grace, the scriptures, Holy Communion, worship, fellowship, and prayer, were identified as ministerials, very important, but not as important as the true essentials. Most other things, style of worship, language, the type of music we use in worship, were classified as incidentals, things which would change in different cultures and times. For me, that motto really speaks to our desire to, to acknowledge that diversity is part of life, is part of creation, is part of what God intended for us. Um, but there is something that brings us together. I think if you are part of a Moravian congregation, you are known and loved, and there's just no doubt about, about that simple truth that, that God loves you, and we do too. For Moravians, Christianity is grounded in a deep faith in Jesus Christ, active love for others, and joyful hope. For me, I think the thing that distinguishes us from, from other churches is that we, we tend to be less doctrinally driven. The Moravian Church is one of the few denominations that asks members to agree to a code of behavior, the Moravian Covenant for Christian Living, rather than a list of intellectual beliefs. We believe that our faith is best expressed by our actions and by our love for one another. God first loved us, and God invites us to respond to that love, and probably one of the main ways we can respond to God's love is by loving others. We learn and try and walk in His footsteps and do as He would want us to do. We actively serve others in our communities, quietly helping the poor, ministering to the homeless, educating the young, and supporting the elderly. We, we tend to try to be Christ in people's lives rather than just talk about Christ in people's lives. 